Live coverage of the Barclays Premier League. The team now for you for West Bromwich Albion. Barris Myhill plays in goal. Jonas Olsen plays with Gareth McCauley in central defence. Darren Fletcher starts with Claudio Jakob in the centre of the park. Saido Berahino is the main striker today. This is then the Manchester United lineup. David De Gea starts in goal. Antonio Valencia starts with Luke Shaw as the fullbacks. Ander uh, Herrera plays with Michael Carrick in the middle. Wayne Rooney is the lone striker today. Carrick on the ball. And uh, Herrera. It's one back. Very shoot, very shoot. Seats ready to cheer, but it's just missed out. Yeah, unlucky. Top marks for the, the way he got into that position, just couldn't finish. Dawson. Darren Fletcher. Can he turn away from the challenge here? Possession in the midfield area. Valencia. I think all of us felt, uh, Alan, I'm sure you did, that when Sir Alex Ferguson finally retired, it would be difficult for Manchester United to immediately... And here's the shot! Look to take it first time! And, uh, didn't... Yeah, he, he knew he didn't have much time, and he had to take it first off, but uh, it took a good technique, and he fell short there. Just to go back to Manchester United, obviously a bit of fallout was expected when Sir Alex retired. Perhaps not quite as much fallout as actually happened. No, I don't think any of us were quite expecting another change of manager to follow ten months after. But that's the modern game, and uh, you move on. But I can't see them being out of the frame for too many years, I've got to say. James Morrison. And now Brunt. And it's with McCauley. Darren Fletcher. And uh, Herrera. Throw in now. Michael Carrick. And uh, Herrera. Play back to Michael Carrick. Rooney. Such energy, such athleticism to keep going wherever his team require him to be. Yeah, what an attitude and what an engine he's got. I mean, he's one in a million. Here's the chance. Good save. And uh, Herrera. This attack. Cross is in. And the defender has coped well with that cross. Able to stay on his feet well. Goes for goal! Right down the slot for the goalkeeper. Here's Rooney, he's coming forward with some danger. Now Carrick. Now they can launch a counter-attack. Fellaini. Ashley Young. Jakob. And there is the half-time whistle. Nil-nil at the break. I think the manager's going to say at half-time, well, keep doing the same and you will get a goal because they've opened up the opposition time and time again. I think that's dead right, Martin. You've got to have faith in your strikers that if more and more chances do come their way, they will take them this time. So we've reached half-time. And here come Manchester United right at the start of the second half. Uh, Herrera 
Wayne Rooney. Oh, and the through ball there, not quite reaching its intended target. West Bromwich Albion have a corner now. Well, I know it's your job to score goals, Alan, but what about the goalkeeper here stopping a goal? Got to admire it. On his toes. That's got! And that defending team really... And the shot's off. Well, kept the shot out, but it's still in play. And that will be a throw. And Manchester United are going to make a substitution here. Michael Carrick. Very cutely done with the back heel. Angel Di Maria. And it could be for Manchester United. Got to be. There's still a chance after the save. We've got to pass it for a purpose, haven't you? And they were just knocking it around and well, it led to a silly error. Wayne Rooney. There was a moment of satisfaction for Wayne Rooney. He scored against Uruguay to get on target again in a major tournament but of course he couldn't help England get out of that particular group in Brazil 2014 now Rooney this could be a chance in with a chance about that just stroked it home bottom left and that's a goal well worth analyzing again so after the goal we've North opened Manchester the scoring United here one nil and uh, Herrera Tried to knock Carrick out of his stride then, but it didn't work. So they can regroup now and a goal kick. Well, it's amazing. We have to have another look at this. Rooney's goal. Well, that's wonderful, isn't it? Because uh, he had an awful lot of work to do to beat the keeper from that distance. Well, I've seen some uh, good performances from this chap this season, but I think it's the best so far, Alan. And He's coming off, I think, simply because, you know, the situation that allows that to happen. And well played. Yeah, one of those players that just covers a quite a small area of the pitch, but he does it so well, uses his intelligence and uh, invaluable to this team. Oh, really nice footwork, but look at the defending. It's a quick break. Here's the shot. And it's off the post and behind. Jakob. That's very well read, and that's a very good interception. Substitution, and it's Manchester United to make it. Opportunity for Valencia in the winger's role. Stopping the cross, important job for the defender. Valencia. I think it's really hard, it's probably the hardest part of officiating to get these offside calls right. They do it much more often than not, don't they? Yeah, you look at it, there's no... He went too early there. Yakov. Could be dangerous. Wants to get at him and he's got past it. Here's the chance. Show us something. We're all level again. One one the score. 
Angel Di Maria. What a good World Cup Angel Di Maria had until he picked up that injury. And uh, Herrera. Manchester United having to force the play here. Well, it's not going to be a complicated approach now. Long balls into the box from any angle. It's all about trying to win that first header. Jakob. This way you want to try and get control in midfield, and they've got the ball. Angel Di Maria. And uh, Herrera. Final whistle, and the scores are level. 